Hey guys, it's me again. I know it has been way too long since I did a video and that's just because everything has been so freaking crazy around the house. So while it's still fresh in my mind, I want to talk about my license and driving. First and foremost, it took me like four days to get my license. Well, the first day I went to the DMV and I took retook the written test, which I passed, which was really nice. And <laughs> they had to schedule my uh, driving appointment, so I did one the next day. And we went in, and I was going to use my husband's Subaru. And they were like, well, the registration's no good. Even though the tags on the license plate of the cars were. Uh, <laughs> so the next day, I borrowed mom-in-law's car and was able to finally pass, get the paperwork and everything. But I had to wait till Monday to go to, the other D to another DMV closer to the house and send my paperwork in, so I should be getting my actual license sometime this or next week. I'm really excited and glad that it's all over with, to be honest. On the note of driving, my husband had a doctor's appointment that I had to drive him to, and we took our son with us, of course, and it was dark out, and I was trying to switch lanes. I was going 70 on the highway, and I was trying to switch lanes, and this guy decided that he wanted to be in the same lane as I I was trying to get into. And so he decides to start, you know, changing lanes, but he didn't use his turn signal. So I I can't even lie. I panicked a little bit and I overcompensated and it was almost a huge accident and it just made me it really got me to thinking about how people forget that cars, while amazing and incredible and really good for getting around and uh really really valuable resources they're not toys don't drive like an asshole like come on I have a baby in the car I'm not trying to get hit and die so I just wanted to say that that people who drive like that shouldn't have their licenses in my opinion just drive carefully there are thousands of pounds of metal that can be used really well but when used in an aggressive fashion become weapons really quickly so I just wanted to get that out of my out of the way and wanted to voice my opinion on that um, so yeah, it's been a really stressful week. I'm drinking wine tonight and going to smoke a couple bowls and just going to kind of chill out. Maybe do a little work in my altar room. Oh my Lord. I can't even believe it's been since before in bulk that I did a video and I feel really bad about that. Um, didn't really do much for the holiday or the Sabbath, whatever you want to call it. I just kind of burned some candles, smoked some bowls. Um, reflected on the winter and started pre mentally preparing myself for the spring ahead, which I'm very excited for. I think it's going to be awesome. And that's pretty much it. I didn't do too much. And uh, I did a lot of shopping. I should I should get to that. I have a few things that I, I want to show you guys that I got. It's a little baby witchy haul of some of the things that I got. I spent too much money on, on witchy things. That reminds me. I got this for my husband for Valentine's Day, and uh, yes, I'm wearing it because I'm awesome like that. It's the ayahuasca plant. It's what you make ayahuasca out of. He's very into the psychedelic trippy things, so I thought it'd be a good gift for him. So yeah. All right. I have a couple things that I want to show you. First, I've been looking for a quartz crystal point excuse me, for a long time now. I've always loved quartz. It's always been, it was in my backyard as a kid. My parents had a rock thing around the house. So I've always loved looking at the rocks and figuring out what they are. And I finally found one. It's gorgeous. And I, I kept the uh, made in Brazil tag on it because it doesn't say made in China. I mean, I have nothing against Chinese things, but it's really cool to have a thing that's not from there. It's very unique and I like it a lot. It needs cleansing and consecrating, but other than that, I'm I'm absolutely in love with it. I, I love crystals. They're seriously my favorite part of, of doing magic. And that brings me to my second one, my Smoky Quartz. I use it for protection and grounding. Whenever I'm really upset or I'm feeling really scared or nervous, I just kind of, there's a little groove in here. I don't know if you can, you can see it that well. A little groove right here that I can kind of rub. It's almost like a worry stone. Uh, so I guess I kind of use it like that, but I, I rub my finger in it and it, it calms me down and kind of lets me regroup and think about what I'm trying to do. And it's been a really good stone to me so far. 
And I also, I've been placing orders on Amazon. I'm waiting for a really fun one for, <laughs> I got a book for my husband and for my baby, a little nursery rhyme book. I'm very excited about that. And I got this. I love it. I'm very excited. I've been wearing it. I got it like two days ago. And so I've been wearing it every day, except for today. I kind of had a day around the house, so I didn't do much. But I've just really wanted one. I have one for my altar. I have two for my altar, actually. And I just wanted one that I could wear. I, and especially with the purple. It just, it's so me. It screams me. <laughs> it's my favorite color. And I think I briefly touched on my Book of Shadows in one of my other videos. And I talked about how my fancy one was kind of like throwing me off because it was so fancy and so beautiful. I didn't want to screw it up. So I went to Michael's. I believe I got this one at... And I just got a sketchbook. Very plain, plain Jane, nothing fancy, but a sketchbook. And I, those are stickers that I got. I, I'm gonna decorate the cover a little bit better, a little bit more embellish it, maybe do something on the sides of the paper. I have uh, some ink pads that I can dye it with. And uh, I decided to make this my book of shadows. It's kind of like a preliminary one, one that I can get used to and start writing in and kind of get the feel for it so that if I do want to upgrade to a really fancy one someday, I can make it perfect. You know, perfect in my in my world. Um, I don't really want to go through, I've only got like a couple pages. Um, I guess I can show you. Just started. I got stamps and everything. And I love, like I said, I love water. I've, I think I'm going to probably work with water the most. So I started out with decorating it really fun. And I colored that page out of one of my coloring books, and I really liked it, so I cut it and pasted it, and then I did the 13 goals of a witch on that side, and that's as far as I've gotten. I've only worked on it for a couple of days. And like I said, I've been crazy busy, so I'm hoping to get some work done in that tonight, as well as with my altar. And that's it. Well, actually, there's one more thing I want to, a couple more things. I keep finding things that I'm excited to show you. Okay. So I went to this really cute little metaphysical shop close to the house. I've been really excited about driving. I've been driving everywhere. And I picked up some self-care cards. I've never really understood how quote-unquote like oracle decks or anything worked. And I've, I've only gotten, I have the one, the mermaid tarot deck. And I have the rider weight tarot deck. So I'm learning how to use those. But I think... I saw this and it just really spoke to me because I need to take care of myself. If I take care of myself, I can take care of my family, I can take care of my house, I can basically do anything if, if I can really just feel better and feel more confident and everything. So I've been working on that and these cards, I've only had them for a couple of days and I've just been picking one every day and working on it and um, they're gorgeous. Like the artwork is just beautiful I love it and then they have the art on the front and they've got little um things on the back it basically tells you what the card is about and what you use it for and I really like that because I've <laughs> I like to make sure that I get the definitions and the meanings exactly right so I've been really checking out the little tiny book that I got with both of my tarot decks I also have a larger rider weight book um, I will be going through that in a different video once I'm a little more comfortable with it. Um, but they're all great resources, and I just, I love these cards. They're so gorgeous, and it just reminds me to love myself and do something for myself, even if it's small. Like, telling telling myself that I'm awesome some days, you know? It sounds really cheesy, but it works for me. And I, let's see here. I got, I can't seem to find the other one. Oh, here it is. Okay, I got a couple more incenses. I love incense. <laughs> I'll show you the this one. I got the moon. I've, I've never tried incense cones before. I've always been a fan of the sticks or the powder. So I was like, well, why not? It's a couple bucks. I'll, I'll spend it and try it. I have not tried this one yet, but I'm really excited to do it. I'm probably going to do it on one of the phases, like a full moon or when we have a new moon next because I didn't have it. Um, but I'm going to use it in those. And then I found cannabis incense cones how cool is that like who does this 
I love it. I burned a couple, and uh, they don't smell like you would think they would, like if you've smoked a bowl and blew it in someone's face. But they're pretty freaking awesome. I can't even lie. I really like it. And uh, I'm very excited. I love, like I said, I love incense. I got some more incense sticks and everything. Excuse me again. And so I'm really excited to keep going with that. And my collection is growing, so. Oh, sorry, I keep burping. That happens to me when I drink wine. But I, there was something else I wanted to talk about in this video, and I can't remember what it was. There were a whole bunch of things that I wanted to talk about during the last week, but because everything's been so crazy, my mind is just all over the place. Oh, goodness. I remember what it was. I wanted to talk about being a witch in the broom closet. I haven't... Okay, well, when I planned on doing this video, I had not spoken to my parents about it, but I called my mom today because I just needed someone to talk to, and she saw in one of my pictures that I didn't even realize I had uh, this on, my little necklace on. She saw that on, fa I think it was Facebook, and I haven't really posted anything on there because of the stigma that comes with being a witch. And I don't know how to explain exactly how I believe because I'm still giving, I'm still feeling it out for myself. And my mom asked me a whole bunch of questions and we got into this, I don't know how to, like, discussion, debate about religion. And uh, she's a very big Christian, very devout uh, follower of Jesus. And that's awesome. I really respect her for that. And my father. But it just doesn't speak to me. It's never, like, the Bible's cool. I've read a lot of it. I don't think I've read the whole thing. I've read most of it. And it's full of amazing stories and really good lessons. Like, to be a good person, you don't need to be a quote-unquote follower of Christ. You can just be a good person. Um, but we got into this kind of thing about it, and I just... I felt bad because I didn't really... I was on the spot, and so I didn't really know how to respond to it and how to accurately speak about how I, how I think and what I believe. And... I think it's really important that if you are a witch in the closet, male or female, whatever, you need to, and you're, like, well, if you're in the closet, your family obviously doesn't know, but think about how you want to present it, because a lot of people are like, oh, well, magic's not real. Like, maybe the Harry Potter kind of magic, which reminds me, I got Battle of Hogwarts shirt on, yeah. So maybe, like, wand... Alakazam magic doesn't work doesn't work but energy does and the thoughts you put out do and everything does kind of it all revolves around nature and the earth and energies and elements and I think personally I'm going to kind of write down what I want to say and organize it first and really dig deep into it and explain to my parents now that they've kind of started to know that I've uh, been interested in practicing, that it's not evil. I'm not, I don't do hexes and curses just because that's my personal preference. There's, it's cool if you do, but I don't. I prefer working with uh, quote unquote white magic or even gray magic sometimes. And I'm still learning about that too. But I really want them to know that it's something that I'm, pursuing and it's something that I've given a lot of thought and a lot of research into I haven't even I've only been I've only done a few spells myself like I'm not even gonna lie I'm still meditating I'm still learning how to calm my thoughts and I'm still learning how to speak to the gods and goddesses and I haven't like I said before I haven't really had any god energy come in and um, be around me because I have so many conflicting thoughts about males and uh, the kind of the male aspect of everything so I've been working with a lot of feminine energy but there's so much to it that I feel like I need and I'm not always very well spoken so I feel like I need to kind of write it down write down like a, even bullet points and just kind of go over it and uh, I want to be respectful of my parents you know I don't want to tell them that God's not real, Jesus isn't real, because you know what? They could be. I don't know. 
I've not died, as far as I know. I could have died. I just don't remember it. There's so much out there to learn. And, uh, like, I, I, I don't know if I've actually said this, but I was brought up Christian. And I went through, I was baptized. I went through confirmation. I did all that lovely, lovely stuff. It was actually really fun. I learned a lot. And I made some good friends. But it just didn't speak to me like this does. I believe in the energy in the earth. I believe in energy and crystals. I believe in all of this stuff and I want my parents to respect that. So this video kind of took a different turn than what I was expecting because I mean although my most of my family doesn't know I did brush on the topic with my mom like earlier and it's just a weird thing to talk about especially since I don't I'm not a concrete witch yet. I'm still very much learning. I'm still in the very early stages. And I think it's important that newbies, quote unquote, start talking about it. It's, I personally felt a little bit of embarrassment when I came into this scene because I didn't know anything. And I still, <laughs> comparatively to all the knowledge there is out there, I still don't know shit. So there's a lot for me to learn and I don't want to go and say anything wrong or give them the wrong impression or mislead anybody. So I want to start a dialogue, a conversation with anybody who is out there who is new and wants to pursue this path because we can, we can do it together. I, w I very much want people to, be, to go on this journey with me because it's amazing. I love it. I've been so much happier. And I want to share that with people. And if you're new, we can learn together. And we can learn from the people who know anything and everything. And that are much more experienced. And have been practicing for years and years. So I think it's really important that we all just kind of get it out on the table. Even if it's not to friends and family in real life. Even if this channel is just kind of a way for you to learn get it out like leave comments leave me a video like contact me I'd love to hear from you guys and hear what you have to say the more input the better we can all learn so much from each other I'm I just get all excited about this I'm, I'm sorry I need to calm down but there's just it's great and I'm very excited that I started this channel I've I'm sorry again that I didn't post a video for so long. I, this is actually very therapeutic for me. It helps me kind of get everything out on the table and talk. I don't get to talk very much because I'm at home with my baby most of the day, which is awesome, but he's not a very good conversationalist yet. He doesn't talk very much. But I think that's all for now. I will post a few links to what I've purchased in the down bar down below I think I always mess that up but anyway I'll post some links below and uh, I hope to hear from you guys I think I've got like 10 subscribers now which is amazing and I thank you all I'm very excited and uh, I hope to keep going and I hope to get some videos and some comments and some feedback so I'll try to get one up tomorrow or the next day I think it's Friday tomorrow and then Saturday is the next day so I'll try to get another one up in the next couple of days and uh, kind of update you and go through some other things that I want to talk about. But I think that's all for now. Bye, guys. Blessed be.